Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Springfield Armory is expanding again. If you look at what they did with the XD, XDM lines, they've expanded big time. The Hellcat line started out with a Hellcat, and now there are four or five variations of that. And they also have done that with their 1911 lines. And if you recall, because I know you're thinking, well, what is it? About a year ago, they came out with the 1911 Operator in 45. Great gun. VZ G10 grips, 5 inch, forged steel, frame, barrel, slide, you name it. And it's a great handgun. Ambidextrous controls, good looking all around. And I've had a great time with this throughout the last year. Well, now they are releasing this new 1911. newer type I should say and this is the 1911 operator but this one is chambered in 9 millimeter. that is the new release from Springfield so if we look at both of these you'll see they actually look pretty identical but they're not they have many of the same features which I think are pretty advantageous because the operator offers some features that you just don't see on every 1911. VZG10 grips, forward serrations, Cerakote black slide and frame. I love Cerakote. Cerakote is just so strong on firearms. You know, you drop it and you say, you know, I just scratched my gun and you look and it's not scratched. That's because of the toughness of Cerakote. Now, the VZG10 grips look cool, but what I really like is that tritium front dot in the front. That's super cool. Two dot, serrated black rear. Okay, serrated black below it, but two dots there. And that, that sight picture really stands out nicely. It comes with two nine round magazines okay this has an eight round magazine and 45 this has a nine round magazine two of them and then if you go with this you get this soft case which has been pretty common with springfield along with another magazine and lock and paperwork and blah 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 so that that's what the story is there now have they done this before yes of course they have they did it with the garrison and I got my hands on the Garrison in 9mm. And this has an 8 round mag. But we can look. The Garrison is pretty shiny. <laughs> but it doesn't have the updated features that the operator has. One, we talked about the tritium front dot. We look at, you know, the, the wood grain grips. I don't think they're wood. I think they're a plastic wood looking grip. As where this has VZ g10 grips and then you have the cerakote versus the gloss you know it's, it's a preference thing but the three slot pick rail is additional from the garrison okay you can see no pick rail there and then the forward serrations which is pretty nice because press checks are important. I don't care who told you they're not. I, I like to press check, especially when just safety checking like that. The trigger is measuring at four and a quarter pounds right there. And do you love 1911 triggers? I do. I certainly do. And I love that short trigger pull and that very short reset. I dig it. Now, this is ambidextrous with the... Thumb safety, both sides, all right, and it shoots so great. I, I I took it out only one time. I just got it. I took it out one time, and it it shot incredibly well. And I loved, I loved it when I first got this in forty five. I said that is that it's great. I love it. They came out with the emissary, then they came out with the operator, and the emissary is beautiful. It shoots great and everything, but this is easier to maintain if you will because i always worry i'm going to scratch the emissary same thing with the garrison to a degree look at that shine but when i shot this it was like really nice it felt really comfortable right away just hold the center hold and boom you're you're on target 
Same thing with this in nine millimeter. Less recoil. People say, well, why would I want a nine millimeter 1911? Well, perhaps you want to train somebody without using a 22. You know, you want you want to train them in nine millimeter. You want to get the the steel frame and get the feeling of that 1911 trigger, single action. You know, that's a good thing. Maybe you want consistent calibers with your PCC pistol caliber carbine. You know, maybe you want to keep just 9mm around without getting a bunch of different loads. There are multiple reasons why people choose 9mm, and there are multiple reasons why 9mm is the most popular round in the U.S., most likely the world. But I did take this to the range. Let's go ahead and roll through some of that footage, and we will talk more about it. Much like the 45 version with the 1911 operator, it has a smooth front strap and then a kind of weaving checkered, Springfield calls that the octo grip right there with the back strap. Skeletonized trigger and hammer, ambidextrous thumb safety, standard 1911 disassemble and a very nice trigger. The MSRP, with this is just under 1200 in today's market. Um, this hey, right now, I don't have an MSRP. I don't know what it is. I have to believe it's gonna be close to that, maybe a little less, I'm not sure. Two nine round mags, I think I mentioned that, and it fired great at the range. Everything just worked so fine. It was, it was accurate and it just reminded me of a lesser recoil operator in 45 and that's what you're going to get with nine millimeter i don't care what gun you're talking about you're going to get less recoil and then you're going to get more rounds in the mag and so there are advantages to nine millimeter springfield came out with the 1911 operator in nine millimeter being released today and if you love 1911s and by the way the nine millimeter 1911s are growing in a major way a lot of people are digging it so i don't blame springfield at all for expanding their operator line from 45 to 9 millimeter and we'll see maybe they'll come out with this in a commander size as well but i certainly dig it i love them both they look the same they don't always fire the same given the recoil differences but both perform extremely well if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe